Okay, guys, I want to give you a quick little demonstration of how to um, create a new Java project using Eclipse. So I've started Eclipse here, and you can see I have a totally blank workspace because I've never done anything with it yet. The first thing I need to do is to create a Java project. So I, if I have a totally blank workspace, I might have the option to create a Java project there. If not, I can go to this Create New button. Um, <clears throat> if I press the drop-down menu, I have, I have the option for Java project on the PC version. It may not be right there in the menu. It might say Java uh, EE, which stands for Enterprise Edition, something or other. Those are a little over the top type of Java projects. But if you look for this button that just says project dot 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 uh, in the wizard that comes up, say that you just want to create a plain old ordinary Java project. Click on next. And now we need to give the project itself a name. You can usually name it after the assignment that you're working on. So for this one, uh, I might call it Hello World. And we can use regular uh, case for that. Usually we capitalize each new word um, just to make them a little bit more distinguishable. You can use spaces, but don't use special characters. And it asks me if I want to create a module-info, and I don't, so I just say don't create. All right now you can see I have a new project created, but there's no code here yet. That's the next thing that we need to add to this so that we can make a program that actually does something. Uh, in the Hello World, I have a Java system library. You don't need to worry about anything that's there, but it's got a whole bunch of, like, here's the whole language for Java that we're going to be using to write this program. But in source, you see that I don't have anything yet. That's where I'm going to add the project files that make up my Java program. Right, the first thing I need to do is to add a new class. New class is this little red C button here. Um, or you can go to the add new thing. Not a whole new project. I didn't mean to hit that. Hit the drop down beside it and look for class in the list. We want to create a new class, a new Java class. <clears throat> for the name of a Java class, you are not allowed to use spaces. And by convention, we always start with capital letters on each new word. So I'm going to call this the same thing I called the program, and that's Hello World. Notice capital H, capital W. A class always has a capital letter for the first letter. All right, and I'm just going to hit Finish. That's all I have to do to make a Java class. Really is just type public class and the name of the class, put a curly bracket, and that says this is the start of the class, and the close curly bracket says that's the end of the class. Um, to make this program actually do something, we need to add a method to this class, and it has to be public so that other things can use it, and it needs to be called static void main and it needs to have string args. Okay, now we don't usually use this parameter for arguments but it has to be there for um, the computer to start this program. It has to look for this exact signature for the public static void main method of the program. Main method is always the first method that starts any Java program. Um, inside of this public static void main method, we put the instructions that we want the computer to carry out. And for this program, all I want it to do is to output to the system console a little bit of text. So I'll say on the system dot output dot print ln, what would I like to say? Hello world. And to end every line of Java code with a semicolon. And that's enough that I should be able to run this class and have it create and output the words hello world to my console. So when I press the run button, which is the one that has like the little play symbol on it, run hello world. First thing it'll ask is, do you want to save this? And yes, I do. Okay, it didn't ask me this time. That's interesting. But usually it asks, do you want to save it? Of course I do. When I run it, oh, look at that. I got the words, hello world, down in my terminal.